Hershey Park's Wildcat Revenge explained in under five minutes. Wildcat's Revenge first announcement to the public was on November 2nd. Rumors, hints, and other stuff coming from RMC and the park were coming that summer right after they announced that Wildcat would be closing on July 31st. Everyone had an idea that RMC was behind this. Hershey Park did not start tearing the coaster supports down, no, they instead just removed the train and a bit of track. As well as the station being completely redone, which we will talk about more later. Fences around the former ride started coming up about a week or two after its closing. The queue seemed to not be torn up, neither did any terrain around the coaster. After all these rumors about RMC being a part of this, we finally got evidence that they were. Closer to two months after the closing of the ride, RMC trucks were spotted in an employee parking lot right next to the former attraction. This, with people wearing RMC shirts, started to be spotted. Around this area was where the new IBAX track started arriving, with dumpsters for the old tracks to be held. About two weeks after we saw that RMC was part of this, we got these strange signs on the fencing that went around Wildcat. This seemed oddly suspicious from them saying, you asked, you waited, get ready, with a date November 2nd. Everyone knew that this was the day that Hershey Park would announce the new RMC, and exactly on November 2nd, we got the announcement stating that the coaster would be called Wildcat's Revenge. Wildcat's Revenge was confirmed to be an RMC hybrid, with four inversions, from what I know there will be an underflip, which will be the only thing that breaks a record on this coaster, a zero-g stall, an inversion I never heard of called a drop down, and to finish the coaster off there is a zero-g roll at the end. This coaster will also have a max speed of 62 miles per hour, with a height of 140 feet. There will be 3,510 feet worth of track that you will travel on, and the ride will last 2 minutes and 36 seconds. This coaster also has a drop of 82 degrees. Wow, very original Hershey Park. From the looks of it, there will be a locker system in the queue as well. Now time for the station. There will be a load and unload station. For Hershey Park, this is their first time doing this. This should help keep lines moving and keep dispatches at a decent pace. This coaster is not going to be like any of the other big RMCs like Steel Vengeance or Ryan Gwazi, but nonetheless it will still be a great ride from RMC. I will make an update video along this once more word comes out. Thank you to everyone who watched, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to support this channel for free. Thanks again for watching and ride on.